All right, you guys straight? You guys good? You sure? All right, so the first thing I want to do right now is um, I just want to give my thanks to this organization, um, all the folks here who have invited me to be able to share my story. And I have one slide, you know, I ain't doing it big like you, bro. But, but um, it's just one thing. And I have, um, oh, what happened to my website? All right, doesn't matter, I'll, I'll talk about it. So I just want to stand here because this is too short for me. Okay, so um, I love what you just shared. I'm just call you trauma guy because it's, it's just so much more catchy. Um, but I love what he shared and, and it, it reminds me of pain. And that's kind of what, like, what I'm saying is, is, uh, is about. And so I want just a raise of hands. How many of you guys have been through some emotional pain in your life? Raise your hand if that's, that's been you. At some point in your life, you've been through some, something that, it's not physical damage, but it's something emotional on the inside, right? And so the biggest thing of what I'll say is my story um, is you're going you're gonna to notice that all, when the, the wind blows the same on all of us, right? And I'll just go right into it. I started, you know, great. I actually am from here, um, here in Los Angeles. I went to school at Cal State LA, got my bachelor's in nursing. Um, after that, I got what I would consider my dream job at a really top hospital, ICU position. I wanted ER, but I started ICU. I said, you know what, I'm gonna do that. Six months in, I get fired from my job, okay? So how many new grads are in the room? Raise your hand if you're a new grad. Okay, and then who, who are the nurses in the room? Current nurses, raise your hand if you're a current nurse. And then advanced practice, advanced practice nurses? Yeah, okay. So <clears throat> as a new grad, you can imagine, you got one year, you got that shot. You get what I'm saying? You got that one year, and uh, if you, I've known, I've known that for a lot of people whose year, it's, you know, if they haven't gotten hired for that year, things get really hard because hospitals, what happens is, you know, they hire someone else. They hire someone who's fresh off. So, you know, I, I got all that done, but I did get a second job. And I remember I was pulled in, I, you know, I took care, of two, took care of two patients, starting a night shift. By the morning time, my manager calls me in to a back office, not even his office. He calls me into his back office. He says, you know, after giving me the run around, saying different things, he said, Val, you're actually a really good nurse. You have great integrity. You know, you're smart, but you're not a good fit for this unit. So I'm thinking, what the hell does that even mean? You know, what, what does that even mean? And so what was even worse was the drive back because I lived in East L.A. and the, and the hospital is in, um, in like on the west side. And as you guys know, L.A. traffic, if you guys are from L.A., you guys understand L.A. traffic especially in the morning, right? So I'm driving back like, how the heck am I gonna tell my dad this, All right? My dad's actually sitting here, right here. Um, say hi to my dad. <laughs> too, too much. So I'm saying, how the heck am I gonna tell my dad this? I'm 22 years old at the time. And, and, and you know, I told my mom, I was like, you yeah, know, that's easy. Um, but I was like, dang, my dad, I don't know, man. I don't know what, I don't even know what I did wrong. Like I wasn't, you know? And um, it, it taught me a couple things. Number one is that I'm just gonna, I'm gonna take an unpopular approach to this, this entire conversation. And number one is that you have a job as a nurse, but as a nurse with a job, you are not safe. And that may just be my experience. That may be my reality, take it or leave it. Okay, so I, with me, the rug was pulled from underneath me, out of nowhere. And I was told that nursing is this and nursing is that, it's great. But there's a second thing that I learned from that experience is that I never wanted to be in that, ever, that position ever again. I never wanted to depend on a single income. I never wanted to depend on an employer, a job, a boss to determine how I live my life. You guys understand what I'm saying? And so I told myself, okay, I did find a second job, thank God. But what also what happened was I started to look into business because in business, I, that's the only thing that I know where when you do business, it cannot be taken away from you. You, you are the, the, the one responsible. You can grow your business and when the income that you make cannot be, taking, can, cannot be taken away from you. Okay, so I started a business with the second job. I'm working 50 hours a week as in nursing, right? And then here, I'm just busting my ass. So it took me about a year and a half from that point. Um, I reached my first million dollars in sales in my own business, and, um, and I tripled my, my income, my nursing income. 
So I went into semi-retirement. Mind you, this is the age of 24. Now, I'm not going to talk about how it's balling out, you know, cars and stuff, you know. Ask me where that money went. I don't know. You know, this is what it is. But I learned a powerful lesson with that. And a powerful lesson is, you know, there's uh, a, a few things. Number one, you, everyone has a purpose. And as nurses, nursing and you going into nursing, there's a reason why, right? You have a purpose. So I want you all to understand that there's something that you like to do that, yeah, nursing is a part of it, but inside of nursing, it might be something you might like to do. And outside of nursing, there might be something you want to do. And I learned that. So I saw, you know, after that point, I started a gym. I owned a gym for three years, gym owner. I went into semi-retirement, like I said. And then three years after that, I realized, wow, I've been really kind of living a narrative of someone else. Um, even though I'm, I'm, I'm somewhat successful in my own eyes, I don't know, uh, I, I feel like I'm lost in life right now as a man. You know, I'm 27 at the time. So I said, you know what, I'm gonna close down my gym. I had a gym in Culver City. I closed it down, that was that. But I took a huge pay cut, it was a big sacrifice, a big risk, but for me, it was the biggest risk, biggest leap of faith that I had taken in my life. And I remember I was talking to my dad because it got to the point where I was so willing to make it work. I wasn't working nursing at the time. I was so willing to make it work that I started to drive Uber and Lyft. And I found myself at a Pet Boys on a Saturday morning and I'm thinking, what am I doing here? No shade to anybody driving Lyft, Uber or Lyft, but I think you can see that it's a, there's a place that I came from, if you understand, to where I'm at currently. And I'm thinking, what, what, how, did, how did I get to this point? And um, after talking to my dad, I'm very grateful to have my dad in my life and um, you know, someone who I've been able to just have objective you know, uh, conversations with. And he said, son, you have a license. And so I, I'll say this on one end, that you're not safe. I'll tell y'all, you ain't safe, all right, as a nurse. But, and and I, I say that because it's a job. That's all. That's why I say it. The second part, though, is you have a backup plan, right? And, and I was able to come back into nursing full time while I get it together with my business, go into a game plan, and that's where uh, my podcast was birthed. So I now have a podcast. It's called The Think Alpha Project. It's a success conversation for people of color. All I'm doing is, let, I'll just be honest, everything that I learned, business, life, uh, developing myself as a man, I learned from white people. And that's amazing. However, representation matters. I think it's an amazing thing. Representation matters. So I figured if I can be someone who I've reached a certain level of success and I can put out something with other people who, who look like me, who've been successful, then I can produce something that I wish I had when I was younger. Do you guys see what I'm saying? So that's what the Think Alpha Project is. So it's distributed in audio as a podcast and in video, it's on YouTube. So you guys make sure you check it out, right? So after that point, um, you know, now I'm diving into my business, but here's what I want in my life. You know, I want to be able to travel, speak everywhere. You know, I've done that before. I've been able to do that in, in the past. That's the kind of life that I want to live. And I want to ask you guys this. What, what kind of life do you want to live? Because what I'm tired of, of seeing in, in our career and in a lot of careers are people who I would call drones. They've been in their career for so long and that's all they've ever done that you see them walking up to work. And I'm talking about nursing too. You see them walking up to work. Their, their clothes are wrinkled. They look a little disheveled. I'm like, dude, you're taking care of people. What's wrong with you? <laughs> bro, you're taking care of people, bro. Like, <laughs> like what's up? <laughs> um, but they, they come in and I think some of you guys know like there's people who walk around like that and you can tell man like they don't really have much zest to their life and if you you can tell for me and the guys up here and, and the lady up here ladies up here <laughs> when we you know and the folks who have spoken there's a zest that there's an energy that they exude when they walk around Do you guys see what I'm saying there's a reason for that you know I, I had a friend and I have a friend in the, in the healthcare industry she's been in there for 25 years she's now 46 and I asked her one time, I said, how was it like when you were 26? Because I was 26 at the time, I was just trying to see, right? And she goes, you know what? Dang, you know what, I'll think about it. In the last 15 years, it was a blur. I actually don't remember the details of the last 15 years. And she said, um, <laughs> she said, you know, I, I really think about it. All I did was get up, work, go home, um, and, and do it again. I really don't remember the details of the last 15 years. And so 
I just believe that everybody should be an entrepreneur of some sort, but it doesn't mean that you have to start a business necessarily. For me, it could mean just being, if you're not gonna do that, be involved in something that's bigger than you, right? And all of these folks up here are in a representation of that. They're all involved doing something where they're serving a purpose that's bigger than just them. Do you guys see that? Do you guys see what I'm saying? So I want you to, as your current nurses, I mean, you know, you guys get this, but new nurses, just as you keep going, you want to be the type of nurse, I, I, I want to be the type of nurse, and I've been able to do that, to, to work, go into a night shift because I want to, not because I got to make some money. I got to make some money. And I think that that's what, we talked about burnout earlier, that's what leads to burnout, is you don't have anything else. Um, and for me in L.A., you know, I, I could I could talk about also, you know, being black in nursing like people won't get that. But this conversation, I believe, is so much bigger than than that. You know, that's a, more of a victim conversation. I'm, I, I'm not going to sit here and touch on that because it's not important. What's really important is what are you doing in your life, whether it be inside of nursing or even outside of nursing to pursue your own purpose? And I promise you, you'll be a better sister. You'll be a better mother, daughter, you'll be a better friend. If you're a guy, you'll be a better brother, a friend, you'll be a better son. You'll be a better person, you'll be a better leader. And overall, you'll be a better nurse. So I'm just gonna leave this with you guys once again. Um, just really think about your life and, and what you want. And um, hopefully you can, sell, you can say that from, from my pain came my purpose. And whatever pain you might go through in, in the future or you have gone through, you know, whatever wounds you have, let your wounds do the work for you. Let your wounds be your work. And make sure, uh, I want to plug, <clears throat> just so you know, I want to plug, you know, just add me on Instagram. I put my, my twin brother here. I just want everybody uh, to check him out. to give him a round of applause. He is a, a nurse, a family nurse practitioner. So I might be the one speaking on stage today, but he's a family nurse practitioner. He has plenty to share, plenty of stories. So if you guys have any questions about that in general, or for him, for me, you know, we're both kind of pulling each other up in life. Um, feel free to ask him too, because he has a plethora of information too. All right, guys, thank you so much.